Hello everybody, this is MC Echo Bob, and today I'm here with another Mind Quest tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you Entity Spawners. Um, if you've already looked at the website, there really isn't that much about them. So, uh, I hope this video will clear up some of it about it. Um, so, what I'm going to do in this quest is I'm going to have two monsters spawn this boat over here and the player is going to have to shoot the monsters from here since you can't actually get on the boat because of the fences and so uh, let's get started um, I'll probably just use one entity spawner because it's much easier that way and there's no reason for both monsters to spawn at once I mean it's just no, it's not much of a difference so, first thing to do is turn on debug, and we're going to need two, or one point actually, on the boat. Um, for this quest, I'm just going to have them spawn there, and so there's the value that I need right there. And now I'll come over and go to... Um, I'll go over to mindquest.cheetahlabs.com and I'm going to start out with the basics. Um, for this quest I'm just going to call it Archer 2 and I'm not going to make this quest repeatable. Um, spawn reset, I don't need that. Spawn location, um, I really don't need that for this quest. I mean, the players should be able to figure it out themselves, and I don't need any of those. So, the next thing to do is to go to events. Um, for this quest, I'm going to add in two message events. Um, so, first one's going to be ID 1 with a delay of um, 10, and it's going to say kill the two monsters on the ship so there's one and for the second one it's just gonna be uh, 20 for the delay and it's gonna say you cannot get on the ship so. And then I'm going to need a entity spawner, which will actually spawn the monsters. And I'm just going to use entity spawner event. And so it's going to be ID 3, uh, delay of 30, and the locations for it will be 56, 63, 72. Eight. All right. So fifty-six. Sixty. Oh, uh oh. That's not all right. There we go. Uh. Sixty-three. Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. And it's going to spawn zombies. So it's going to be capital Z and then zombie because uh, I figured out that if you uh, don't capitalize it won't pick up the monster type correctly and it won't work so it has to be capitalized Z for zombie and super spawn I don't want it to be a poison zombie so I'm gonna put that to false um, so that's basically oh well we need a uh, objective event we need two kill events for this so that's going to be a delay of 40 I guess and that will start object uh, task number one 
um, for monster types I'm gonna put zombie capitalize Z again and I'm going to set it to 2 so there's that that will be task number 0 um, I like using task number 0 because it's the default um, ID for it so I'll use this task number 0 for this one and that will be event IDs 1, 2, 3, and 4 and if I scroll over this you'll see that all four are highlighted and so now I just need to add the cancel event and some more message events alright so this cancel event this is to cancel the uh, um, the spawner event which is right here as event number three so I'm gonna write three right there and delay of ten because I don't want it to have much of a delay because um, it's kind of important that that goes off pretty quickly after you kill the two zombies or another one will spawn um, now I'm going to add in some more message events because I like I like people talking to the questers while they're doing the quest. Um, I'm gonna write good up. Oh, that will be twenty, and it will say good shot. That should be all of them. And the delay will be 30. Um, actually, I'll make the delay 100. And this will be go tell the fisher and the good news. Okay, um, now I want them to actually go to the fisherman, and that will be right there. So I'm going to get a data value for that, and it's going to be 30, 38, 63, and 76. Then back over to here and area event right there Let's drag that up delay of um, 30 for this one this will start task number two and it will be 38 63 76 yep and uh, radius of three Um, next will be, I guess, another message event, and I'll put a delay of 40 on this, and we'll start out with Fisherman. So it looks like the Fisherman is saying it, and it will say... Thank you so much for helping me. And, uh, it's, um, for number, I don't know, uh, yeah, no. Um, and, um, well, I guess I'll end the quest right there. Um, it will be an experience event. So, I will put the delay for this to 50 character experience um let's just say a thousand um four hundred and five hundred as a money reward so we got ten and since this is part of a campaign, a campaign on my server I'm going to need a quest available event 
which allows the player to get the next quest and that will be a delay of 60 and for this I'm just going to write Archer 3 because that's what the file will be named for the capital A um, and then it will be a complete quest event. This is very important and I will actually add in a backup because this sometimes doesn't actually work so you have to make sure that you you must have at least one of the two things that I'm going to show you or if not both um, delay of 60 so we've got the complete quest event normally that will end right there but just in case it doesn't I will add in a quest event and I'll t make the task nev negative one which will end the quest immediately um, and I'll put the delay of I don't know 30 okay so now I have all the events I need and now I should go back and make the other tasks that I need um, so I got task number zero which is one, two, three, and four, and I'll need one for f five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah, eight, and then nine through thirteen. So this will be one. This will be five, six, seven, and eight. All right? Yeah. So one, alright, and nine through thirteen, and that will be task number ID two, and that will be nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Thirteen, enter. So one, two, three, alright. And I've already made this quest, so I'm not actually going to save it and copy it onto my server, but if you were going to, you would hit the floppy disk, hit C code, copy this, and close it, and then open Notepad and save it as whatever you want to call it, dot quest. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the quest on my server. Um, let me turn off debug. I have some arrows and list quest. There it is right at the bottom, Archer 2. And so I'll type start quest Archer 2. Give it a second. Alright. Quest started. And um, I'm just going to cheat go over here and beat him up because my archery is kind of low so I'll just beat these two guys up and I think another one will spawn but it disappears right there and um, so I'll go back up here go down here and the quest should end um, if you notice it says you gained 2.14748C from a quest. That's just a uh, a glitch in mine quest. That's the it's not hooking into economy correctly, so it still uh, sets it out as cubes. So thank you for watching. Uh, this is MC Echo Bob. Um, like and comment on the video, and goodbye.